I like to show you how a bottom-up tree automaton reads a tree. And a bottom-up tree automaton works like this, that it starts at the root of the tree, then it moves all the way down to the children, and then it starts reading the tree from the children back to the top. We are asked to read this tree. This tree is given in bracket format and that's just the same as this tree, with which I drew here for you to a better orientation. So, and when we want to read the tree, that means we want to do some transitions and we want to do any number of transitions to do that. And in the first step we tell it to just that we want to read the whole tree. And this one here is just the same as this one in bracket format. So we want to we tell it that we want to read those whole tree. Then in the next step we have to consume what's outside, so that means what the root of the tree is. So we will get we'll consume those A and we put it in those um, we put it to the transition. And then what's left is that we want to do another number of transitions to read the left tree, the left child node and the right child node. So for the left child node we want to do any number of transitions and read the single A that's so that's in the left child node. And for the right child node, so this one, we want to do another number of transitions and we want to read the whole well the whole right child node and what or everything that's below it. And what's below it is just the those right part of the tree. Now, in the next step, well, as you can see here, we are in the, we nearly reached the bottom of the child node. So, when we, when we are here in the left child node, we and we want to do another of transitions to read this. We just consume those a again and put it to the to the transition. So first we just keep this and now in place of the left child node we just well which color did I take? I think this one. Now we just consume those A again and get those A transition and now what's left when we read the single um, the single node a tree consists of, where we are left with an empty tree which we denote with empty brackets. So, and the right child node, which is this one, or which is the same as the whole right part of the tree, we just consume those root of those subtree again, and we get a transition for the A. And then again one part of the transition we want to do another step of transitions to read the left child node and another number of transition transitions to read the right child node. So we are left with um, delta star B for this left child node and delta star A for the right child node. Now in the next step, well here we have to do um, another conversion, but here we are at the bottom of the leaf and we can start going back to the top again from this. So for those left child node, we already reached the bottom, so we can look in our table what we have to do. And it says when we have a transition with an A, which for an empty tree, which is uh, this transition, we get, go into the state Q, Q0. So we just, in place of this thing here, get a Q0. And then for the right part 
of the child nodes we have to just do not new conversion so we keep those delta A here we'll consume, consume the B and we get delta B together with an empty tree and for this child node we get delta A together with an empty tree then in the next step Well, at this point we can't do anything with the Q0 yet, so we just keep it. But we can go on handling this thing and solve it. Now let's just look in our tables when we have here delta B with an empty tree. It says that we can, well let me take another color. So for this part, which belongs to those child node, we look up in the transition table and it says when we have a delta transition with a B for the and we want to read the empty tree, we get Q1. So we get a Q1 here. And then for the right child node, which we are left with here. Well, let's have a look in our transition table and again we see that we get a Q0 from that. And then, well, another, just two steps left. We have those delta A transition. We are left with the Q zero on the for the left child node and then we well now we can uh, solve this again we have to look in our table well let's like let me take another color so we are at this point where we have q1 and q0 which we got for the child nodes and then we can look this up in our transition table and in our transition table it says that we get a Q2 from that and I just forgot the comma and now we can look this up again in the transition table well and this is just at this point we are at the root node in the tree and in the root node for the two children of the root node we got Q0 and Q2 and that, let's, let's just looks this up in the transition table and the transition table says when we have a delta A transition and we have a Q0 and a Q2 then we get a Q2 and then we read the whole tree as you can see and we are just left with Q2 and now the tree is it's accepted if this is a final state and indeed Q2 is a final state and that means the bottom up tree automaton accepts this tree